What's up guys and welcome back to Software Not Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Warzone's new update. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this game is broken right now. It is really, really broken. It's actually worse than what it was when we had the old map. It's way worse. If you're standing in the lobby, yesterday I was actually playing with my brother and he plays on PS4. My brother literally just had a head and two guns. He had no physical body. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, that is me standing over there in the lobby. And this is my brother. My brother only has a head. He has no body at all. And I couldn't stop laughing. So if you're having problems like that, or you're getting dev errors, you're getting crash errors, your game just crashes to the desktop, or just random errors. I'm talking about where your game looks like a blob, or the game isn't rendering things in properly, and stuff like that. Call of Duty is doing small updates to fix these problems. But if you are getting very irritated by these small little problems, there are small steps that you can take. Now I'm going to show you what you can do with a couple of steps and just follow my guidelines and you should be good to go i did all these steps one by one and i just did them all and my game works perfectly fine now without crashing or anything like that so one of these things are going to help you so just follow my guidelines and whichever one works for you leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new year and ladies and gentlemen i hope this works for every single one out there because i know everyone wants to be playing this game without errors and stuff like that or if you feel like doing this to your computer because of the warzone crashes the dev errors and all the problems you're having right now with warzone just follow my guidelines and you should be good to go so let's just get this up and going all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to this little gear icon of here and then go to update and security Go to check for updates. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do this on most of my videos. You need to keep your Windows up to date on a regular basis. It doesn't matter if you're running Windows 10 or 11. Keep your Windows up to date. All right, the next step you're going to need to do is update your graphics card drivers. If you're an AMD user or an NVIDIA user, make sure your Windows and your graphics card drivers is always up to date. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do this. I know most people know how to do this. If you don't, just type in AMD driver download on any search engine or NVIDIA driver download on any search engine. Type in the graphics card that you have or select the graphics card that you have. Download the latest drivers and install them. It will overwrite the old drivers. You do not need to uninstall the drivers you are currently running. I repeat, you do not need to uninstall them. You can just install the latest drivers. It will overwrite those drivers. All right, once you're done with that, the next step you're going to need to take is actually go into Battle.net itself and then go to this little gear icon here and go to show in explorer you're going to open up call of duty modern warfare you're going to scroll all the way down now there's two options here which is the call of duty modern warfare launcher and then the call of duty modern warfare or just modern warfare exe now you're going to right click on the modern warfare launcher say properties go to compatibility mode and you're going to say disable full screen optimizations run this program and administrate to tick both these boxes and say apply now i know a lot of people might have one pc with a lot of users on it for instance if your friends or family members whatever the case might be are using the same computer i highly recommend saying change settings for all users because a lot of people have like maybe two three four users on their computer and they have different profiles so just go to change settings for all users and then do the exact same thing say apply say okay say apply say okay once you're done with that you're going to do the exact same thing with modern warfare go to compatibility mode do the exact same thing these two boxes say apply then do it for all users do both over here tick these boxes say apply say okay say apply say okay and then you're going to go out of this now the next step that you're going to need to do ladies and gentlemen is actually this so you go to go to the start button over here and you're going to go to your document so you go to this pc there's another way of doing this you can just go to the search button over here and type in this pc and press enter you're going to go to your documents and you're going to find call of duty modern warfare all right, so now a lot of people have said you can change these things inside here and it will refresh your config. The easiest way to do this to refresh your config is actually right click on this and then all you need to do is to say rename. So let's just say I space this out and I type in one, right? I type in one, click anywhere so it saves it. I already did this and then I deleted it and I made it back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare because I don't need it to say Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1. You can say anything here with a rename. Just call it Call of Duty Warzone Pacific Update or New Update, whatever you, you want to call it. Just type in anything there. And what it's going to do is it's going to reset your configuration settings for Warzone. So try it out after you've done that. Go into Battle.net and play the game. If the game still persists with the issue of crashing, freezing, dev errors, or anything like that, the next step that you're going to need to do 
is actually go to the search button over here and type in CMD. And you're going to right click on the command prompt over here and type in run as administrator. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a complicated trick for a lot of people out there. Maybe a lot of people don't know about this, but this is going to scan your system for little errors that Windows is throwing in, the game is throwing in, Battle.net, or whatever the case might be. You are going to type in SFC space forward slash and scan just like this, scan, and then now, just like this, and press enter. Now what it's going to do is it's going to scan your system's files. Now ladies and gentlemen, this might take a while, so just sit back, chill back, make some coffee, or whatever the case might be, what you want to do, go watch a YouTube video, whatever the case might be. Just let the scan and let it finish, please. This is a step that I took as well, and it, I'm, I'm pretty sure one of these steps fixed my game. So just do this, and I'm pretty sure one of these steps will help you guys out, and it will work perfectly fine for you guys. Now, the next step you can do, if this is complete, and you go into your game, and you're still getting the exact same errors, there's actually another thing you can do, is actually scanning the game files yourself, by going to the options menu, and then say, uh, check for updates, right? Just to check for updates, whoop, awesome, cool, it's already up to date. Click on the options again, and then go to scan and repair. Once you click on scan and repair, it's going to start scanning and repairing your game files to see if there's any corrupt files on your war zone. Now, yes, this could be the problem. It could be the cause of the issues that you're having, like dev errors and stuff like that. A lot of people are saying that you need to uninstall your BIOS and update your BIOS and stuff like that because of the dev errors. Please don't listen to that, people. It has nothing to do with your BIOS. Absolutely nothing to do with your BIOS. It's Warzone itself that's giving the issues. It's not your machine. It is physically Warzone that's giving you the problems. So don't listen to people that's telling you you need to, f f I don't know, like update to Windows 11 from Windows 10 or some nonsense like that. Don't don't go and do that. That is just nonsense. You don't need to do that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the worst case scenario would be if you scan your game files and the game still has its problems, the worst case scenario is going to be to click on this option button and click uninstall and reinstall this game. I know a lot of people on my previous videos actually uninstalled this game, reinstalled it, and their problems were solved. I'm talking about dev errors, freezing, stutters, um, lag spikes, all those things. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just a thing. I don't know why Warzone is doing this with this new update right now, but trust me, ladies and gentlemen, the way to go is take these steps that I just showed you now to do, go through all of them. If one of them works, awesome. Leave a like, leave a comment down below which one actually worked for you. If it is the case of uninstalling the game and you don't have a very fast internet connection, I know it's going to take some time to actually re-download this game and wait again to be able to play the game. Yes, I know it's frustrating as hell. I know that. Fortunately for me, a nice thing is when I actually did all these steps, I didn't have to uninstall my game. I, I didn't have to uninstall it. Because the steps that I took, especially this one over here, to scan my PC for errors, I actually found out that I had no problems found, right? So protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Please, ladies and gentlemen, do this option. It is a highly recommended option to do for your PC. This can help with Warzone's crash issues, and it will help you with the game stutters, freezes, I don't know, like stuff not rendering into the game. If that's the issue and you do this and it fixes it, then go ahead and do this one. Leave a comment down below that this one actually fixed it for you because I believe this one is the one that fixed it for me. Now, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, worst case scenario would be to right click on or click on this and go uninstall your game and then reinstalling the game. Yes, I know it is a big game to uninstall and reinstall. But trust me, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people has commented on my previous videos that this actually worked for them by uninstalling it and reinstalling it. If you have a fast internet connection, go through all my steps first. If none of them worked, none of them, then what I suggest you do is uninstall the game, reinstall the game, and you should be good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this worked for you. I hope this actually helped you out. And that your game doesn't get dev errors, freezes, or breaks. Your game looks like a blob. For instance, you land in like a certain area and the trees are floating. You shoot a guy and then the, you know, the guns are floating. I had that happen to me yesterday where I was, 
I opened up a crate and there was, you know, armor plates laying on the floor. They were floating in mid-air. So I did all these steps that I just took now and it actually fixed my game. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this worked for you. And as always, peace out.